So friends, let's see what it goes to uh, put your Bitex, micro Bitex board as a complete rig. So the first thing what uh, it is recommended is to choose a, a, uh, a appropriate chassis, chassis in the box. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, a metal chassis by, uh, sold by uh, VU to SUA, Sunil Lakhani. This is a fantastic uh, piece of uh, chassis and uh, you'll see a, a place for VU meter and you'll see the LCD display and four uh, function buttons with a tuning knob and a volume control with an on off switch and here you, you have the mic uh, connection uh, and you have a provision for either a mic gain or uh, right now I'm using for the, P, uh, for the speaker. All right, so uh, Farhan's uh, website, it gives that you have to use, uh, you know, it is recommended to use a metal chassis. And if you, if you are using a metal chassis, you have to see to it that the IRF final amplifiers, which you see here on the heat sink, should not touch to this chassis so that is the uh, the you know the recommendation and the in the the rf out what you see here the rf out uh, it should be as near to this board but however uh, in this board i have an rf out over here but in this board i have an rf out on the other side so what i have done is I have run a RG58 cable that is the coax cable so that helps in uh, uh, you know uh, quietening or it doesn't pick up any stray RF signals so the first thing what you have to consider is an appropriate chassis like this or a box which helps you in uh, you know building uh, your microbitex.